hey, I'm, I'm working on something. I don't know if you'd have any interest, but you do strike me as someone who's desperate to grow your fan base. <laughs> Why are you always trying to cause trouble, Sonia? Somehow, I don't think whatever this is is something I want to be involved with. At least not with you. I, I'm, I'm not being mean. Why do people keep thinking I'm trying to start something when I'm just trying to be nice? Sorry, it's just your wording, your attitude. To be honest, everything about you. Whatever, look, we may be WWE superstars, but I want to give back by putting on a show specifically for up and coming talent. I'm working with LAW to set up some matches, raise some money for them, and maybe even mentor the next generation a little. That's a good thing, right? And I wanted to know if you were interested in getting involved and having a match there. That does sound like a good thing. Who am I fighting? And what's in it for you? I'd set you up against an indie wrestler, Geneva Rose. And maybe I just like helping people. Obviously, I need work on letting people see that side of me. So what do you say? Honestly, I'm still totally skeptical of your motives, but I'm on board for the next generation of wrestlers coming up. Not for you. Great. I'll send over some paperwork for you to sign before your match, and then you can even deduct some stuff on your taxes, just like you do for charity. See you there. Wait, are you doing this for a tax break?
Thanks for doing this. The crowd loved it. You're welcome. And I have to say, it looks like I was wrong about you. You put together a good event. That was surprisingly fun. LAW seems like a good place to grow talent. I'm glad to hear that, because you just earned yourself a match against Odyssey Rift for the LAW Championship. I'm not trying to win an LAW title. I came here for your event, that's all. Are you sure you don't want the match? I have to be honest, after getting a taste of being a WWE official, before it was unfairly taken away from me, I realized that I really like power. The power to broker matches for LAW? The power to run LAW and turn it into a legitimate rival of WWE. And this is the first step. I told you I was trying to raise money and support up and coming talent. That could be you. I'm happy on SmackDown. And I'm pretty sure you can't run LAW while under contract with WWE. Who knows? But I'm willing to bet WWE won't be happy if they find out you signed a full contract with LAW yourself. I didn't. <laughs> the only thing you didn't do was read that paperwork I sent over for you to sign. <laughs> That's fraud. Mm, sounds to me like breach of contract. Good luck enforcing that. I doubt I'll have to enforce anything. Once Odyssey Rift finds out you're refusing to face her. <laughs> I don't have time for this, Sonya. I did your event, and now I have to get back to SmackDown. And there's one half of the tag team champions who's building a very impressive start to her career. Who is that? I think that's Odyssey Rift, but she's not signed with WWE. What's this all about? We have a developing situation backstage, and it looks like this is going to head to blows. Look at that. Swanton. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. DDT! Right in the mouth, oh, relentless. God. Enough already. <laughs> Looks like setting up for a suplex. Looking to finish things off. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Big punch finds its mark. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. Oh, look at this. An inverted scoop slam. Retaliates. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Look at this. DDT on the foot. Right to the kidneys from behind.
No official needed here, as it looks like they've settled it themselves. Yeah, I just hope no one was seriously hurt. Looks like someone made Odyssey Rift pretty angry. <laughs> I know you snuck her into the arena, Sonya. And you crossed the line. You really think you can come onto WWE turf with nonsense from another promotion? <laughs> when they find out what you're doing. What are you going to do? Tell on me? Don't forget, I'm not the only wrestler under contract with LAW now. I can handle my business to both. You? I'm not so sure about. That contract you tricked me into signing is not enforceable, and you know it. <laughs> I'm not worried about any legality. As long as I have Odyssey Rift as my enforcer, she's not going to let this go until you face her in the ring. Neither will I, but I'm a reasonable woman. You want your freedom? Take us both on and give me a marquee LAW main event. On one condition, make it a your hired match. What? It's like a your fired match in reverse. Loser has to sign a real ironclad contract with LAW. I'm confused. I thought you wanted out of your contract. I do, but I want rid of you too. And I don't intend on losing. When I beat you, the new contract you sign with LAW will be exclusive with a sizable non-compete clause, meaning your WWE days will be officially behind you. <laughs> You're pretty cocky when you want to be, huh? Can't wait to have that attitude fully in the LAW family. <laughs> and I can't wait to watch you sign your WWE career away.
OMG, look who it is. One half of the women's tag team champions, my partner. Hello to you too, partner and fellow tag team champion. Isn't it wild how far we've come? You used to hate me. Hey, we've been over this. I didn't hate you. I just resented you and hated everything I thought you stood for. Ah, yes, totally different. But water under the bridge. Feels easier to get along when we're champs. Speaking of, as champions, how should we kick off defending our titles? Why not hold an open challenge? Seems a good way to show the WWE Universe that we mean business when it comes to defending our gold. I love it, partner and fellow champion. Okay, that's starting to get old. Yeah, I regretted it as soon as I said it. to see a fight courtesy of the Empress of Tomorrow. The pageantry before the punishment. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers. First, from Osaka, Japan. Think about this, gentlemen. Asuka has a combined 914 days without defeat in NXT and WWE. And Asuka has remained dominant even after that historical streak. Oh, get ready, guys. There ain't nobody meaner than Tamina. And her partner from the Pacific Islands, Tamina. It's not surprising that pretty much everyone has to be on the defensive around Tamina. She just loves hurting people. No, she just loves to flex her power. And there ain't nobody meaner than Tamina. They are ready for a fight. NLJ and Ava Moreno. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history-making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. The WWE Women's Tag Titles has dramatically changed the women's division, and it will continue to do so tonight. 
The former tag team champs refused to go away. You have to respect them answering the champion's open challenge like indestructible villains in a horror movie. A horror movie we've seen too many times. I think I speak for the WWE Universe when I say it's time for a new era in tag team dominance. Will Asuka and Tamina regain their tag team titles from the new champions? Or will the champions kick off Corey's new era in tag team dominance? It's time to find out. Not so fast. American Rana. Good grief. Getting set up for something in the corner. This won't end well. They're looking to slow. That hurt. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. We don't often see Asuka in this position. Rare to see Asuka in distress like this. Oh, right to the jaw. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Whoa. Tap in the leg, DDT. Good defense. Standing Spanish flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. She's just getting worked over right now. Yeah, the faults in her game plan are being laid bare. She gets the tag. And she dodges that one nicely. Face buster. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. from Tamina. Tamina showing how much punishment she can withstand before dishing it back tenfold. Tamina hoping to start a rush of her own with that attack. Now a pin for the championship. The challenger stays alive. That's smart. Taking the one to catch your breath. Break to the face. My God. Hoist it up. Good, Buster. Good way to fracture a rim. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. Golly. Incredible axe kick. Oh, quite an effective counter. Kick to the gun. Twist of faith. Now that is why they're the champ. Ooh, caught with a knee to the mush. Off the rope. Tomeka Hilo! That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and up. Into the DDT. And the momentum's clearly against Tamina now. Tamina with the top. Got the tag. Got the tag. Look at these kicks and a about the hair. And dropping the hair too. And there's the tag. Tamina into the ring. Leaping into the wheelbarrow. Up and up. Boom! DDT. Oh my goodness. The challenger's holes are slipping away. Yeah, not looking good at all. Unbelievable. <laughs> nice job getting to the ropes. And when you're in that position, you have no other 
choice. And Zagiri finds his mark. Tamina, these champs just put those doubts to bed. I agree, Corey. They look poised to hold these titles for a long time. It's Bree and Nikki Bella. The Bella Twins are here. Simultaneous Bella Busters. What the hell do the Hall of Famers want with the tag champs? I don't think this is about the champions. It seems to be all about their tag team gold. Whatever their motivation is, the Bellas made quite an impact here tonight with their shocking return. We haven't seen them in quite some time, and now they just cut to the front of the line for a tag team title opportunity. Don't ever underestimate the Bellas' cutthroat mentality. There's a reason they're Hall of Famers. I don't think the tag champions will be underestimating them after this. Unbelievable. I didn't realize you were here tonight. Uh, last minute podcast business. Sorry for not giving you a heads up, but I'm glad I was here. It's just like the Bella Twins to show up and ruin everything. You okay? Yeah, and it sounds like you have something in common. They're also upset about never having the chance to compete for the tag championships. Don't say that. I have nothing in common with them. Those two ran me out of WWE. Didn't your injury run you out of WWE? My injury just sealed the deal. When the Bella Twins arrived, it was the beginning of the end. Suddenly, no one was interested in the women as athletes and competitors. They started telling me I was supposed to be a diva. You should be thankful you don't have to deal with that. I still don't know if that's exactly the Bella Twins' fault. I wonder if you'd feel that way if your matches kept getting bumped for bikini contests or schoolgirl matches, or pillow fights. The Bellas may not have been the whole Divas division, but they were a big part of building it. I see your point. I want to be a real competitor too. It must have been infuriating. Did I ever tell you I was supposed to give a retirement speech? After I found out I could no longer compete, I was going to have the chance to go out on Raw and have a proper farewell. I really wanted to thank the fans for supporting me throughout my career and tell them firsthand why I had to leave. So what happened? It was cut for time. WWE decided to cover the Bellas going on a double date instead. Wow, I'm so sorry. I never had an issue with the Bellas, but knowing that definitely puts them in a different light. And I'm certainly not a fan of what they did to us tonight. I'm not going to let Nikki and Bree push us around. You know, WWE has been requesting that I book the Bella Twins on ruthless digression so they can do press on their various frivolous projects. I blew them off because of, well, everything. But maybe it would be a good idea to set up an interview. Would be a real shame if anything happened to them while they're recording in the studio. I understand what you're saying. Anything can happen in a podcast studio, and it won't be a pillow fight. I'll talk to Ava. It does seem like both of you always manage to keep busy, even before your surprise return. Groundbreaking reality shows, a podcast of your own. When you were in WWE before, you each held that Divas Championship, but whoa! Smackdown is our show now! Stay in your lane! That's enough! You've done enough! Break it up! 
What the hell are you thinking? Get them out of here, now! What did the trainer say? I'm okay. They said I'd be out for about a week, but nothing serious. That's frustrating, but it could have been a lot worse. Didn't expect the Bellas to be ready for us at all. Maybe we underestimated them. Just a little bit. Take care of business until I'm back, okay? I certainly will. There's two of them, but at the end of the day, they're just the Bella Twins. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. Here come the Bellas. Two of the linchpins of the women's revolution. And their opponents. Nikki and Bree, the Bella Twins. Two main event competitors who are absolutely unstoppable as a team. Yeah, all thanks to a little twin magic. to show why they are the greatest women's tag team in history. This fearless rookie may be fighting the Bellas by herself tonight, but she didn't come alone. For the first time since Survivor Series, Justine is back! And what a time to return. There's always been bad blood between Justine and the Bellas, and it looks like it's about to boil over here tonight. And she's stunned in the corner. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be... Look at this athleticism. Oh, man, nasty kick. Look at this. Incredible... Looking bad for her here. A lot of energy left. Fresh partner to tag. She's in about as good a position as you could hope to be. Still into the DDT. Nikki counters the strike. But Justine doesn't seem content to just sit on the sidelines. Justine's doing everything she can to keep her niece in this match. What's Natalia doing out here? And why is she helping the Bella Twins? Nikki nails the spear. And it's over. Natalia's distraction is enough to help the Bellas help themselves. In any event, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of this rivalry. Not with that ending. And not with the Bellas continuing to stir things up here on SmackDown. We still don't know why Natalia got involved, but it looks like Justine is even madder about it than her niece. It's no secret that I've butted heads with both the Bellas in the past. 
but I am done with the shade being thrown on them and the WWE Divas division. I'm not an idiot. I know what some people have said about the women involved in that era, both behind our backs and to our faces, or in some people's cases, hiding behind a keyboard on social media. But the truth is, the Divas division was made up of talented competitors, all looking for their opportunity to shine, just like the women of today. As Divas, we had to fight for everything we got, whether it was a chance to speak or a two-minute match. I would have thought a superstar who did her fair share of time in catering would understand taking advantage of every possible opportunity. Make no mistake, I am damn proud of how far this women's division has come. But I'm also proud of where we've been. It's time to respect the women who helped pave the way for the women's revolution. That includes the divas. And if anyone has a problem with that, they have a problem with me. Crazy that only one week out of action has made me this fired up to get back in the ring. Good. Use that fire against Natalia. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. We certainly need to take care of the Bella Twins. But I'm not sure I would have gone so hard on them on social media in the first place. Justine's been telling me all about what she went through with the Divas nonsense. How the Divas division changed WWE for her. For all women, really. Listen, no disrespect to your aunt, but I kind of see where Natalia's coming from. I think she has a point. A point? I don't know. WWE's come so far since the Divas Division, and I'm not going to be nostalgic about the past. Certainly not a past that, in my opinion, did more harm than good. Besides, I want to beat the Bella Twins. Now those last two points we can agree on. There's no use debating the past. Not when we can defeat all four of them and also have a little fun in the present. You feeling ready for your match tonight? Ava and I are good to go. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm here to put a stop to any divas, naturally. And if Natalia and Beth want to take on that mantle tonight, that includes them. You mean watch us do that? Sure, that's what I meant. And I'll be in your corner. That's great. Thank you. Believe me, it'll be my pleasure. <laughs> 